I'm assuming you've already bought your domain over on Namecheap. If you haven't already done that, go and do that first and then come back to Bluehost where we're going to set up the hosting and install WordPress on the domain. The first thing to note is at the top there is a menu here that says WordPress. You can ignore that. There's also one that says hosting and we're going to be setting up shared hosting. But when you get to the home page, there'll be a link to get started. So let's click on that button. And then you need to choose which package you're going to use. The basic package is only for one website. If you're starting out, that's fine because as your site grows and needs more resources, or if you need to add more sites, you can upgrade to a more powerful package. So click on the select button for the package you're interested in. You'll be taken to this screen where you can tell Bluehost about the domain that you've bought. There are two options, create a new domain. This you do not want to use. This is if you are using Bluehost as the registrar as well. You'll type in the domain that you want and when you click next, it will check to see if it's available. And then the domain will be bought through Bluehost. Bluehost will be the registrar and the web host. We don't want that. We want to use Namecheap as our registrar. We want Bluehost as our web host. So we're going to use this box. Use a domain you own, it says. So type in the domain that you're going to use and click on next. Bluehost will take you to the create your account screen. I'm going to just fill that out. Once you've filled that out, scroll down a bit and it asks you for your package information. I would recommend you buy for 36 months because you'll get a bigger discount on your first payment. You can see that Let's Encrypt SSL is free. Let's Encrypt SSL will allow you to have an HTTPS website and we will cover that. If we keep scrolling down, there are some more options down here which you don't actually need. You can have them by all means if you decide that you want them, but you don't actually have to have those. So I can see how much I'm saving on my account, on my hosting and estimated tax and then the total. And then you go through and you put your card information into the payment. Go down here, click I have read and agreed to Bluehost terms and services. This box here is optional. It says, please click, click here if you do not want to receive emails about our product services or special offers. So if you don't want to receive any emails, just click on that to select it. Make sure the top box is checked for sure and then click on the submit. You'll see that it is then processing and your purchase was a success. They'll send you an email confirmation and you can also download your receipt down here. The email that they send you contains you contains a summary of the payment that you made, including the, your address, payment details, receipt details. And then there is some other important information in there about your account. So it'll tell you your domain. It'll tell you your username. There'll be a link there to change password. There'll also be a link for a temporary domain. There'll be email server, name servers, which is important because we need to go over to Namecheap and change those. Go and do read that email and keep it safe because you are going to need it. For now, we're going to just click on the create account link. You'll be taken to this screen where your domain name is already going to be filled out and you'll need to create a password and then retype it. Once you've done that, click on I have read and agree to Bluehost privacy policy and terms and then click on create account. Once you do that, the account is ready to go and you can now log in. So click go to log in. You'll be taken to your cPanel login, which if I scroll down here, you'll see the URL of this. I would bookmark that because it's the way to get into your cPanel whenever you need to get into your hosting. And you just need to enter your domain name and your password and then click log in. When you log in, you'll be taken to this screen, which is the Let's Create a Website. Now, what's going to happen over the next few screens is Bluehost is trying to gather some information to decide what type of website you're building. What you enter here is irrelevant because this is just setting up the website WordPress in the way that Bluehost thinks you're going to want to. But we're going to be starting from scratch anyway. So what you choose on these screens is irrelevant. For the first screen, just choose blog and then just select anything for what type it is and then who you're creating it for and then click on continue. On step two to step four, you're able to skip these steps. There's a link at the bottom. So just click on the skip the step. On step three or four, again, scroll to the bottom 
click skip this step and you're taken to the last one where it's asking about themes. Skip the step and then Bluehost is on its way installing WordPress for you. Okay, we've got so far in Bluehost, but one thing we need to do now is to change the DNS on Namecheap. Now, the DNS are name servers, and if I just show you what they look like, if you look at the email that Bluehost sent you, you'll see name server, and then there's two. There's NS1 and there's NS2. That's what we need. So we need to go back to Namecheap, and in the list of your domains, find the domain that we just created and click on the Manage button at the end. Then scroll down a little bit on the Domain tab. You can see the Domain tab up there. Down to Name Servers. And at the moment, it says Namecheap Basic DNS. What we want to do is select Custom DNS and paste in the two name servers that Bluehost gave us. So we have NS1 Bluehost, NS2 Bluehost, and then click on the little Save button. Once that's done, it means that Namecheap will now be talking with Bluehost, so your website will load properly. However, these DNS name servers can take a little while to propagate. They might work within five minutes, they might work within 10 minutes, it may take an hour or more. So do be patient, but we can go ahead and continue the setup in Bluehost. Because when we bought our web hosting at Bluehost, we didn't use Bluehost as the registrar, Bluehost didn't have access to our domain, so they set up a temporary domain for us. And you can see that on the screen. If we go over to view the site, you'll see that our site is currently using that temporary domain. So we need to go into Bluehost now and fix that and tell Bluehost where our actual domain is. In the left panel, click on My Sites, and you should see your domain there. Click Manage Sites and then go along to Settings. In the site URL, what we need to do is to change this to the domain we bought. So teachingxyz.com, save updates, and it's now asking me for the home URL. That's still set as the temporary. We are going to just copy the site URL, paste in the home URL and click on Save Updates again. Once this is saved, we can click back on the home link and we should find, if we refresh it, that our domain then is available. And there we go, we've got teaching XYZ. And if we were to now view my site, it's going to open teaching XYZ. If the DNS at Namecheap haven't propagated fully, then you may well get an error. If it has propagated, you'll be able to see your site there.